Let's talk about it right here. Let's do it. In the middle of March, with everything going on with March Madness and everything going on with the NFL free agency echoes, waiting on Aaron Rodgers, what's going on with Lamar Jackson, lots of folks interested there. Paul George hurt himself last night. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be holding our breath, hitting refresh for all you Clipper fans out there. That would be me. And uh, we're, we're waiting to see how the rest of the NBA regular season wraps up. Carl Anthony Towns looks like he's coming back. Yeah. No. He hasn't played since November 28th. Timberwolves getting healthy just in time for a playoff run. John Morant says he's still working on himself. With all those headlines clanking around. We're talking baseball. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we're talking baseball on this program. Because last night, we had one of the most intense endings to a baseball game in the history of March. I'll say it. (laughs) Okay? Uh, And that's what I kind of dig about this World Baseball Classic. I know two major injuries happened during the World Baseball Classic. Major injuries. You're a Mets closer. Uh, The trumpets turned into trombones, unfortunately, for Edwin Diaz and... Jose Altuve, we might not see him till June because he took a wayward pitch off the hand. And I know that's been a lot of the conversation along with, oh, great viral moment here, great viral moment there. But baseball has always been my first passion. I know I'm associated with the NFL for 20 years now. Thrilled to be that and forevermore. Happy. Baseball was my first love. It's what I covered at ESPN. So when I see the World Baseball Classic come to a conclusion with Mike Trout at the plate and Shohei Otani on the mound, two Angels teammates, finally in a game that matters, (laughs) facing off with one another and seeing that showdown last night, was an absolute wondrous sequence that baseball, I feel, deserves. Baseball tries its hardest. I really feel that way. It's still a remarkable game. Used to be known, as you know, as America's pastime. But the national pastime last night had an international pastime moment. Japan versus the United States one run game last out of this world baseball classic that has been chock full of terrific competitive juice flowing moments for baseball in a month where we're talking grapefruits usually in cacti this was incredible whole family was in the room yeah last night all five of us sitting down watching a sporting event I don't remember the last time that happened Usually happens for the Super Bowl for a lot of families, but, you know, dad's at the game. Um, So we're all sitting there, and it was edge of your seat moment. And we all know what happened. Otani wins the battle. Japan wins the World Baseball Classic. And Team USA watched Mike Trout swing through one of the most incredible strikeout pitches you will see in a moment like this. Otani coming in to close his first game since 2016. When we all know he was not in America playing baseball. Hadn't closed the game since 2016. And he comes in like he's done it his entire life because that's the way he does everything. And reminds everybody in front of the whole planet against his teammate Mike Trout, known as the modern-day Mickey Mantle, who we're waiting to see actually make the playoffs and have great playoff moments. He, with that pitch sequence, threw not one, but two. See it, hit it, 100 mile hour, my stuff versus your stuff fastballs. I mean, putting it all out on the table. This is my best. You give me your best. Let's Let's ride. After he threw a first pitch slider that Mike Trout spat on to take the early advantage in the count Mm -hmm. that wound up being a full count because 
Otani, after throwing that first pitch slider, throws four consecutive fastballs, two that were right down the middle that Trout swung through and two that were out of the zone. Great Full at bat. count. Great at bat. Full count. Four straight fastballs from Otani, and then he snaps off a hospital corner perfect slider. I mean, perfect. And it was 14 miles an hour slower than his fastball. And then you sit here and you think to yourself, he might be the best slugger in the game too. And Shohei Otani reminds everybody who the best player on planet Earth is in this sport. Beaten out grounders that he hits sharply, directly to a middle infielder on the right side of second base. He beats it out. He's got to get drug tested after that. He hits bombs. I want him at the NFL combine. He runs like a deer. And now he's coming into close games? Yeah, he's filthy. He's unbelievable. Close games? Best player in the game today. That's why you come on here saying you want to clock until he becomes a Met. I'm sitting there last night watching him going, hmm, Hmm. he looks really good in white pinstripes. (laughs) (laughs) With you, Rich. You know, I tweeted that out, and people are like, that looks more like Padres pinstripes to me. Padres pinstripes. Everybody starts chiming in. Nice. Everybody starts chiming in (laughs) because everybody sits there and thinks, hey. Love to have him. He's wasting away in Southern California with the Angels. Best player on planet Earth can't even get a sniff at the playoffs. Yep. And part of the reason is because the guy he struck out can't stay healthy. Last couple of years. Well, when's Otani? Oh, I, I know Otani's been here for a few years now, but. I mean, Trout hasn't been healthy the last couple of years. I'm just in complete awe that we have to sit back and. Marvel at what we're seeing and not just go, oh, okay, yeah, this is unprecedented and just move on with our lives. No, this is a unicorn. This is something you've never seen before. Left-handed hitter for power who can run like he's Ricky friggin' Henderson. And he's like 6'4". Yeah, he's tall, tall, big, big, and also has the heart of a lion. You saw that last night screaming, let's go, like he's Tom Brady after he strikes out Mike Trout to win the World Baseball Classic in front of an international audience that could not believe that the baseball gods gave us what we wanted, Otani versus Trout, to end it. Mm -hmm. Otani on the mound to close it. Unbelievable. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 